Hey there, it's Keely, and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If not, hey there. So today we're making more characters in The Sims 4, but this time we're making characters from the Style Savvy franchise. So since the Style, well no, it was the Fashion Dreamer game came out in what, November of this year? If you, I think that was the US release at least. Um, People were really hyped up. They were like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the next like Style Savvy game. And I remember as a kid playing the original Style Savvy on my DS and then playing the Style Savvy Trendsetters on my 3DS. It was such a fun game. Like, I don't like fashion in real life, but there's something about digital fashion that's just so fun sometimes. You know, you don't have to worry about trying on the clothes. You don't have to worry if they fit because they always fit the characters. And you can make it look really nice and have a lot of fun with it. So since you guys seem to like my Karina Sim videos, I thought what better than to tap another niche market of people who play video games than people who played the Style Savvy franchise, especially with the release of the game. And a lot of people were upset because um, I believe what, Sin Sophia, whoever made the game, wasn't really, I can't remember if they weren't like working together as much on this Fashion Dreamer one or like it wasn't associated with Nintendo. I don't remember exactly what it was. But a lot of people were let down because there wasn't like a store, there were no contests, it wasn't like the traditional um, style savvy games or even the other like international releases, which were basically the same game, um, just under a different title, or like the third and fourth iterations of them. Uh, so people were kind of upset about that. And I myself thought about getting um, the Fashion Dreamer game until I realized about that. And then I was like, mm, I'm not really interested. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to make those characters since I was thinking about them the other day. So here is Michaela. So she's the character you meet when you first load up your game in the Style Savvy second one. So the Trendsetters one um, you meet and she ends up giving her boutique to you. So I did some research on the characters to figure out who I wanted to make because there's so many characters. But when you look online, there's really not a lot of information about any of them. Um, but yeah. So here's Michaela. She's into more like refined styles and like polished looks so that's what I kind of was going for here she has a couple different outfits she'll wear in game with like black jackets and stuff so I wanted to kind of recreate that here with some like nice looking black pants and a little like a jacket or sweater and that kind of look she's got the iconic bangs and her like greenish eyes and none of them have last names either so all the last names are just randomly generated um, I gave her some heels and here's playing around with the eye color and the hair color and now the makeup to kind of make it like kind of sell her character. But yeah, so here's her look so far. Obviously, there are no like fashion related um, aspirations or even like likes or dislikes. There's only the like career, which I didn't play with any of these characters. So it would be kind of hard to create that in Create a Sim. So I tried to put a spin on it a little bit differently by using some of the fame-based aspirations or like the friend aspirations. So I put her, I looked around for a while, as you can see, to try to see if any of the other aspirations kind of fit maybe what her character would do. But I wasn't really happy with a lot of them. So in the end, I ended up deciding on this like city one for some of them. And I ended up using like some of the other like friend of the world or like famous um, ones for some of them. And I, throughout this video, I kept going back to the characters and switching some things because I didn't want them to all be the same. And I feel like if you played the game, you could tell the difference between the characters, but they didn't really have the things I was looking for. So I gave them uh, favorite colors. I gave her that she likes the polished style and that she likes black and stuff like that and like white and red. All right, for our next character, I went ahead and gave her the party animal aspiration for now and like I said I went back and changed these a couple times throughout the video just as I kind of got further in and I just made this character and I'm trying to remember who it was I'm going to be honest with you oh I know who I'm making now <laughs> um the real question is do you know who I'm making so this character is from the original series but then I think she also appears in trendsetters I can't remember it was so long ago but, um, Rococo, uh, if that's how you say her name, the absolutely flamboyant, just, um, always stylish leopard print, purple, pink, feathers, just all about style kind of lady. At least in the U.S. releases, I did, when I did my research, I found out that, um, she's actually kind of like 
listed as a guy who has more like feminine like clothing styles or something like that I think in the Japanese release which I could be wrong but that's what I saw on like the style savvy like wiki so however true that is um you know but for her traits I gave her goofball friendly and art lover for now I ended up changing them again like I said and I gave her that she liked polished fashion and streetwear and that she liked pink I said that she liked high energy sims and spirited sims um since she loves to host the fashion contests and stuff like that. So I was looking to see, and I had this coat in mind, since I knew there weren't going to be a lot of things with like the feathers and the super ostentatious thing. So I wanted to go with the leopard print for sure, since I knew that there was a top that had leopard print. So then I was looking for a skirt with any kind of like chain or really pants, so like a chain or like a belt. And I wasn't really having any luck until I looked in the skirts and I wasn't really going to go for a skirt. But when you see the belt, if you know the character, this skirt, it, it fits pretty good. So I decided going on with that one. I was hoping I could find black with this like purplish black that matches the coat a little bit. It was the best I can find. So overall, I was pretty happy with it. I gave her some boots. I was like, I couldn't give her any lashes because she had the glasses on, but the glasses are just so iconic. So of course you have to have them. Just doing some more accessories with her hair. You can't really see them anyways. So that is a limitation. So I tried a couple of things and I was like, honestly, it doesn't matter. You can't see your earrings anyways. All right. And I thought about giving her like jewelry too. And I was like, you honestly can't see it unless I give her a ring. All right. On to our next Sim. So this one is going to be Avery. So Avery is from the Style Savvy Trendsetters game. And she's one of Michaela's friends. And she's a former model who was like super good, super famous. And she's always at all the parties. Whenever you go to any of the after parties or you go to the concert hall, she's just always there. So I want her to have something to do with like gossip because in her WikiHow profile and also if you talk to her in game, she was all about gossiping about other sims and like what other sims were up to. Super like confident and stuff like that. I didn't necessarily want to put her as self-absorbed um, or a snob, but something from like someone from like a higher class of society because she's got you know she's got the connections she's got the looks she's got um the fame she's got the name you know all that kind of stuff so I just put in a random uh thing for that to go in and actually edit her sim to look like how she looks in game and she has like this bob with like highlights and so that was gonna be a little hard in this game at least and I couldn't tell from the original game when playing it, but according to her wiki help profile, she has blue eyes. So I gave her blue eyes, um, but I gave her like more of a bluish gray because I think in game she has more of like, I zoomed on the picture. And I was like, oh yeah, she has dark blue eyes. But because my eyes CC that I use is kind of glitched out, I couldn't really pick the option I wanted. So we just had to, we went with the bluish gray. <laughs> and as per usual, you can download these Sims off the gallery if you'd like. Um, it does say they have CC. So if you want to download them, you have to like, enable the create like the custom content the only custom content these sims have are the eyelashes and the eye detail like the coloring of the eyes everything else is from a stuff pack a game pack or from the base game um so you don't have to worry about any of the clothing not being on your sim or anything like that from being custom content and it will function perfectly without the two mods that i have i just personally really like them for everyday gameplay so I didn't really have a lot of luck finding the short hairstyle I was looking for, but I really liked this new hair they put in because it had the highlights and none of the other ones really had it except for that one get famous hair and I don't think that was really what I was going for for her. So I ended up going with that one because I thought it looked really pretty on her. So I wanted to have a nice sparkly black dress. Her dressing game has long sleeves and I do remember it as being more sequined, but this was the closest like sequined-y fancy black dress I could find. So that's, I kind of just went with that. Here I am looking for some accessories for her. I wanted to give her some really pretty earrings and fancy earrings, but you can't see it because of her hair. So that's unfortunate. Bow. So instead I tried to go like and do some more with the makeup. I made these sims in my, um, a different save file. And so I, uh, I don't have like all the different like makeup swatches that like the ones that I've choose, like the sliders or anything saved. I said that she liked black and hardworking Sims and spirited Sims. And I had her like some of the fancier styles. I had her like gossip because of course. And then when I was thinking about it, I was like, wait a minute. And then at that point I accidentally selected the story Sim thing. And then you have to like go through the whole story. You can't like exit out of it, which I think is really unfortunate. 
So I just cut that out because I wasn't trying to do the story thing anyways. I just accidentally clicked on it. All right. So our next character. So there's not a lot of men. I mean, I think there's like, what, two male characters in the original Style Savvy? And then in the second iteration, you can actually customize outfits for men. Which was cool. But what I thought was really weird is once I beat the game, I like deleted my save file. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I could play as a guy and like see if there's a whole nother side of the game. And I was really disappointed that even if you said you were a guy at the beginning of the Style Savvy Trendsetters 2 game, considering there's male's clothing, like male and like male presenting clothing, why couldn't you make a male character? It still had you make like a female character or something like that. I'm like, this is so silly. But anyways, that's my own tangent because after I beat the game, I was like, I want to see if there's new features. And then I was like, highly disappointed that you couldn't just like see everything through from a guy's lens and go to like those stores first and like customize outfits that way. But anyways, that's my own other tangent. Maybe at this point you figured out who this id is. Maybe not. This is Brad, the delivery guy. So obviously there were no moving hats in The Sims 4. So I ended up going with this other one from the University of Brightchester. And I wasn't really sold on some of these shirts um, because I wanted them to match the hat. But none of them really match the hat. But then the one top I was looking at earlier kind of matched. Like at least it looked closer to his like in-game shirt. So I wanted to use that one. But then I wasn't really wild with it. So you know how men's fashion is in The Sims 4. It, it sucks. Like, create a sim for men sucks. Um, the hairstyles, they suck. Um, but yeah. So there's Brad. And we don't really know a lot about him, except that he's kind of shy. And he's interested in the player. But, you know, he kind of asks her out, but not really. And we know that he moves a lot, so he's probably pretty active. So instead, I gave him the bro, socially awkward, and the active trait. Um, I said that he was looking for love and I also gave him socially awkward because like he only really managed to ask your character out like once or twice and it never really goes anywhere and he's always just so awkward when he delivers things to you. Uh, so that was kind of my idea with that. On to our next character. So we are looking for some hairstyles and based on the color that I've chosen, if you played the original Style Savvy, you may know who this is. And I mean, who has like greenish hair? Like hardly anyone. But I'm telling you in the game, it looks like she has green hair. So I made her have green hair. So this is one of your fellow workers at the original like boutique in the original style savvy, style savvy game. So as you can see here, I'm looking for a last name, and I wasn't really happy with some of them, but Renee. So Renee is from the original game. She works with you, and she is interested in Dominic, but he's not interested in her. So that's why I put romantic and foodie, and I ended up changing one of Avery's traits to nosy, because I totally forgot. I was like, oh, well, if she likes to gossip, she would totally be nosy. So I switched that around and instead gave her the jealous trait because Renee is known to be jealous when the character is talking to, like, your personal character is talking to Dominic in-game. But yeah, so I gave her that. And let's go look for an outfit. There we go. All right, so as for her outfit, it didn't have in the wiki, like, her preferred style of clothing, so I wasn't really sure what to go with, so I just looked at some of the reference photos, the very few reference photos, mind you, of her online, to see what outfit she might like. So first I liked the striped shirt, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. So I looked through some more stuff. I ended up kind of really liking these pants because she also kind of liked some bold styles as well. So then I went with this jacket and I was like, oh, mm, I kind of like the red. So that was kind of the idea that I went for with that. All right, now onto the makeup. Getting our makeup all figured out. It took me a while to get the color that I wanted. And then I ended up doing the lip gloss anyways. She has like kind of a grayish eyeshadow. At least that's what it kind of looks like in game. But yeah, so there's Renee. Alrighty, our next sim. 
is going to be a surprise for you and me because I honestly don't remember. <laughs> All right, so kind of fixing up our eyebrows. Looking for the right skin tone. So I looked through a lot of different hairstyles and none of them really floated my boat. Uh, this one was okay. I thought about doing that one that came with Romantic Garden stuff, which is free now, guys. At least it was. So definitely pick that up. Free is free. Um, but yeah, I was looking for a long hair that was a little bit curly and this was the only one I could really go for. So if you played the original style savvy, you may start to recognize who this is. I felt like I did an okay job with her. So this is actually Grace. She is the owner of the first boutique in the original Style Savvy game. So if you play that, you end up meeting her, you work at her boutique, she ends up giving it to you, and that's when you also end up working with Renee, the previous character that we made. So Grace likes feminine styles, but also like refined um, styles and like fancier styles. So I ended up going with some nice little like pink makeup, kind of light, airy, and I have this kind of plain but feminine kind of look that she has going on right now, like professional. And so I ended up going for the friend of the world or the world famous celebrity. Yeah, I ended up changing it because apparently she's super well known and has a lot of pull in the fashion world. So there's Grace. Like I said, again, I just randomized that. She likes polished fashion. And I had that she likes a couple different things in there. And I put the media design skill or like the digital media, whatever it's called, production media production skill, because if you read up her profile on WikiHow, not WikiHow, the assists, the, 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 clearly I cannot talk in either of the videos I recorded today, the style savvy like wiki videos, um, it shows, it says that she's like in the magazine sometimes and like has a column and stuff for fashion and apparently is really popular. So I just threw that in there. All right. So our next character that we're making is one of the also only other like male characters ever in this series. <laughs> and I mentioned him before, so maybe you can figure it out. He is the love interest of Renee and also your character in the game. And this is where also the hairstyles in this game suck for men. Um, but this is Dominic. So he is like the owner of the boutique that Grace has. Like I guess he like funds it or something or like owns the land or the building space. I don't really remember. But yeah, so he dresses, dresses very fancy. He comes from a lot of money. And um, here is his kind of look. I kind of looked at some of the other pre-made like suit outfits, but then I didn't like the bow tie. Um, and none of them had a pink shirt underneath. So I ended up just going with this black one with the rose and the gray. Just some fancy slacks and some pants. And, um, well, slacks are pants. <laughs> and some fancy shoes. I said unflirty because he never really takes to um, Renee's like advances. And uh, so he's kind of hard to read. I also put him as proper and as a loner. And then I apparently switched it to good. I said that he wanted to make a lot of money because he came from a family of a lot of money. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, you can find these characters on the gallery if you'd like to play with them. Um, but yeah, so here's a quick look over of all the characters that I included in this video. I hope